Hello, welcome to the third activity in Learn to Code 2 chapter called World Building and we're working on the activity called Making Your Own Portals. In Making Your Own Portals, the goal is to add a portal somewhere in the, uh, somewhere in the landscape to help jump yourself to a different area to solve the puzzle. Okay, so we can uh, now create an instance of type portal that's a new thing added to this, uh, a, new, a new command added to this um, activity. And then we can use our world.place function to put the portal wherever we want. Now, in this case, a portal is a little bit different than a, say, gem or a tile, uh, in that we need both a starting location and an ending location. The starting location where the character will, ent will enter the portal, and an ending location where the character will pop out of the portal. So our world.place, we have two different versions of it now. The original world.place, which just takes an item to place, and a starting location defined by a column and a row. And this new one, which allows you to place a portal somewhere, which takes a both a starting location, a starting column, and a starting row, and an ending column and an ending row where the ending part of the portal will be. Okay, so let's start off by uh, practicing with that and we'll um, place a portal somewhere where we think it might be useful to us. So if we look at this puzzle, um, it looks fairly symmetric, uh, meaning that the stuff that's going on on this side, on this island, is very similar to what's going on over here. So. We're probably going to want to write some kind of a function that we can repeat maybe on both sides on both of these islands. And it looks like uh, the thing we want to do is to clean up the gems on all four sides of this side and then maybe we'll make a portal that uh, leaves from say the middle of this island and it'll come over here to this island somewhere where we can start to clean up these gems using the same uh, the same algorithm hopefully so, well let's actually write the code that cleans up uh, one of these islands okay so uh, okay let's try um, maybe so we're on a gem right now and it looks like if we collect this gem and then we say maybe move forward turn to the left move forward and sort of turn this corner to the left will be ready on the next gem, okay? So these blue arrows here show us the direction we wanna go. So when we get over here to this location, we're gonna turn around and we'll be ready to go to collect the gem here and then turn the corner to the left again to go collect this gem over here. And then when we're here and we're turned around again, we can turn the corner to the left to collect this gem here. So let's go ahead and uh, make that function here. So func, and we're going to make several functions that will help help uh, help us in this. So maybe this function will be um, clean island of gems. Okay, where clean island of gems is going to do something like. Uh, collect the gem that we're on and then turn corner to the left turn corner to the left and then turn around okay something like that and it will do that four times so let's uh, just see what happens here when we get these uh, written so turn corner to the left funk turn corner to the left is simply going to be a move forward then a turn left and then another move forward okay and let's try this out and just see if this gets us set up so if we just call clean island of gems, eventually we're going to do this four times. We're going to do this sequence of this sequence of collect a gem, turn a corner to the left, and then turn around. We'll put that into a for loop so that we clean up the whole island. 
but let's just see what happens if we call this once and we need to make our turnaround function which is just going to be a turn left and a turn left okay let's just uh, make sure that uh, this cleaning up a gem and moving to the and turning a corner to the left works okay so he cleans up the gem he moves forward he turns left he moves forward and then he turns around and now if you were to call uh, this sequence of commands again here collect gem turn corner to the left and turn around if he does that four times he should clean up this whole island so let's try that for uh, something in the sequence one to four we're going to do these commands right here so we'll, this will indeed hopefully clean the whole island of gems let's run this again there's one comes over here he turns around gets him set up for the second iteration of the for loop where he collects the gem turns corner to the left turn around He's ready for the third iteration, collect a gem, turn corner to the left, turn around, collect the gem, move, for, move forward, turn corner to the left, and turn around. So, all right, so that did it. There's a little bit of wasted activity at the end there, but we need to make sure we collect the last gem. So, actually, we could probably stop this short here and only do three of those. And then at the end here, we'll just, uh, after we do the for loop, we can collect that gem right like that. So let's try that, then we have avoid that wasted activity. So it cleans, it collects the gem, turns corner to the left, and turns around. It's going to just do it three times now. This is the second iteration. Collect gem, turn corner to the left, turn around. Third iteration, collect gem, turn corner to the left, turn around. And now at the end of the for loop, all he needs to do is this collect gem, and he's done. He's cleaned up the island. Okay? All right, now, if we move forward, if we place a portal right here in the middle of this island at coordinates column 1, row 5, then maybe we can transport over here somewhere like here so that we're ready to call clean island of gems again okay uh, that would be ideal I think so let's give that a try here let's create a portal and and uh, transport over to the other island here so to create a portal well we've got this uh, code up here which says let green portal equals portal with some color and I'm going to uh, go ahead and create it again and I'll delete that up there because I want this to happen after I clean the island of gems I don't want to be walking on this portal every time I cleaning up the first island then I'd be transporting uh, too many different times here so let's try creating it right in here let uh, I don't know if there's an orange color there probably is let orange portal equal an instance of portal and if I put a parenthesis in here it shows me that uh, the only way to initialize a the only way to initialize a portal is with a color I actually can choose this color down here and I can choose a nice orange one so I'm gonna choose oh, maybe this color right there Okay, now we've created a portal here, but we haven't put it anywhere. So that's where we need to do this world dot place. And here are our two different, oh, we actually have a few of these. Right, we have three different ones. We have place an item at a column in a row. We have place an item facing some direction at a column in a row. And now we have place a portal at a start column and a start row and an end column and an end row and that's the one we want there okay so the portal we're going to place is our orange portal and the starting column well let's just look here that's going to be at one column one row five column one row five for starting 
and ending, we said somewhere over here, let's try this one. That's going to be column 5, row 2. Okay. So let's see what happens if we do that. And then we'll call clean island of gems right again after that to clean up the next island. Okay, let's try that. cleans up the first island. This is the third iteration. Collect gem, turn corner to the left, turn around, and then collect gem to finish this off. Now we're going to place an orange portal. Nice. He's going to move forward to take the portal over Ah, okay. Okay, he ended up facing a strange direction there. So, when he moved on to the portal, actually, I, I would like him rather to uh, actually, instead, of, this move onto the portal happened as part of the Clean Island of Gems, and I think I want that to happen independently of this move forward, we'll move on to the portal, and then transport him over. But in any case, he ended up facing the wrong way uh, there to clean up the, uh, to clean up this. In fact, I think he was exactly the wrong way. So let's try moving this. Instead of at 5-2, I want to try 5-0. So ending column will be column 5 and uh, row 0. Okay. Let's try this once more. I think he'll be facing the right way now when he transports over. He'll be facing the center of the island so that the clean island of gems should work. Okay, gets transported over, and yes, facing the right direction. So Clean Island of Gems should work fine here. This is the uh, second iteration now, Clean Up Gem, turn corner to the left. The third iteration will be Clean Up Gem, turn corner to the left, then turn around. And finally, a Collect Gem will finish off Clean Island of Gems, and that should be great. Okay, very nice. All right, so our main program here, we wrote an abstract idea that says clean island of gems, which takes care of one of those islands. And since the islands are symmetric, meaning they're set up exactly the same on one island, uh, similarly to the other island, then we can call that when we get to the other island. Now, to get to the other island, we create an instance of portal right here by using its initializer that takes a color, and we chose orange. Uh, actually, I forgot to uh, get rid of this up here. Technically, we created a green portal but never placed it, so I don't need that in my code. Okay, there we go. Uh, good to clean things up anyway. Then after we create the instance of portal, we place orange portal by using the new version of world.place, which places a portal at a with a starting location and an ending location. And then uh, we just simply move forward to get onto the portal, and the portal will take us over to the best spot on, uh, on the new island so that when we call a clean island of gems again, it can just work as we designed it the first time. Okay? All right, there's lots of ways to solve this puzzle. Um, I'm actually wondering if you could solve this puzzle by putting the portal down first and then having the uh, having the character uh, move back and forth between the two islands every time it collects a gem. I think that would be interesting. Uh, so maybe I'll try to do that after this video and post another video. But in the meantime, you should give that a try. See if you can find a different way where uh, the character moves back and forth along the portal more times than just the one time. So my strategy today was to clean one island, then transport, then clean another island. 
But in the other strategy, you might try seeing if you can clean both islands up at the same time. So clean one gem on one island, then another gem on a different island, then one gem on the back on the other island, and so on, back and forth. Uh, that might be fun. If you get that to work, post your code in the comments. We'd love to see it. Okay? All right, good job, everybody. We made a couple of three nice functions here. Turn corner to the left, turn around, and the big one that did most of the work is Clean Island of Gems. And Clean Island of Gems used our turn corner to the left and our turn around uh, and our collect uh, and our turn around functions. So uh, remember what we also we learned this time is that we can create instances of portals now, right here and we can place them by giving them a start location and an ending location. All right, good work, we'll see you all next time.